everyone you ask is going to be interested. And the point I want to make to you is you should be selective on who you ask. One of the things I always teach my students, and actually Steve and I had this conversation not too long ago, is um, you want to make sure, sometimes there's this, this excitement to form partnerships, and you forget about the fact that neither of you have a handle on this part of what's required to make a deal, right? So it would be like, um, somebody's really good at finding deals, and somebody has money, and they're going to partner up to do a deal. Well, if neither of them know how to run a deal and they don't have, you know what I'm saying? Like that could, that's like, well, you're put some of the pieces of the puzzle together, but not all of them. If, if there's someone who has the money and the experience, you know, that the fewer cooks in the kitchen, the better. So if you can do that with two people over three, I think that's, I always err on the side of simplicity and being cleaner. Um, but you want to be very conscious of, uh, making sure all of the partners are contributing into the deal something that the partnership needs right like so for example if you have two people that are really good at managing deals like there's no reason to bring in the second one necessarily unless they're bringing something else to the table does that make sense 